Hey guys, it's your boy Jamie, aka Jam on the Beat, here with a brand new video. Uh, this one's kind of be kind of different from like other stuff I usually do, especially the talking videos. You know that's what this is. Uh, but before I start, um, I want to give a quick shout out to my good friend Zach. Um, so recently he made a brand of his called uh, Caviar, and um, he me and him were kind of talking a little bit and like I decided to just for the heck of it even though this ain't like a paid sponsorship I, sh I just want to um, shout out to his brand a little bit Caviar um, so you know um, you know you got your Supreme you got your Gucci and stuff I feel like Caviar might be the next best thing out there right now so uh, right now I know they're, um, he and his company are like doing um, sweatshirts and like t-shirts and uh, mugs and stuff. So pretty much like you know the basic accessories. Uh, for me, I'm pretty much a broke dude, but I was able to um, answer a good, good old-fashioned giveaway and got myself this nice white mug. Uh, I forgot the name of the collection this is from, but uh, you know I'll leave a link to the cup um, in the description if you guys want this cup. That's my boy Zach, and that's the whole Caviar brand. Um, he based it off a meme of his, and yeah, pretty much like he's trying to make it into a brand. So kudos to him, man. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine, and like I hope that you guys do check him out. Uh, I'll leave the link to um, the website where you can shop um, for the brand, anything you want, uh, in the description down below. And I'll also leave a link to at least like one or two of the social medias that like uh, also include the brand. So. Um, yeah, so make sure to get yourself something. I promise you, like it's not a regret. I, you know what? Like, like just to prove you guys how loyal I am, I'm gonna be drinking some caviar from now on. Here's my bottle of. You don't need to know what I drink. All right, there we go. Caviar, baby. good all right <laughs> now on with the video all right so as you guys can see by the title below I'm gonna be talking about um, song categories in this case there was a post um, I made a good while back about like um, just like um, answering questions about like different songs that like have different things like a song with that mentions this color or a song that has like a number in it or stuff like pretty much like something like that and um, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video out of it. I got the thing right in front of me, so I'm going to just be reading it one at a time. There's about 30. I'll see how much I can get to. If I have to make a part 2 out of this video, then, um, yeah, <laughs> I can try. There's something I might not even know right away, so, yeah. Alright, so the first one is a song you like with the color and the title. Um, one song I like with the color... Um, is Blue Angel by Roy Orbison. Um, it was like it's a pretty good ballad, and um, I started listening to listening to heck out of it like during college, bro, especially during like the lonely times. So yeah, if you get, take a chance to listen to it, then you'll see why I like it. Um, a song with a number in the title. Um. That's a difficult one. I, I'm not really sure. Like a lot of people be uh, thinking about like numbers and, and titles and stuff. So, um, one song that's just in my head right now is Ten Little Joeys" by The Wiggles, <laughs> the OG Wiggles. I don't know why. It's just the first song that uh, came into my head that includes a number in it. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. There's that. Um, third, third thing is a. Uh, a song that reminds you of summertime. Um, I would say um, "Summertime Blues" by Eddie Cochran, or um, my own song "Dream Girl," which you can also find on my SoundCloud link in the description. For a song that reminds you of someone you would rather forget about. Uh, <laughs> I would say, um, 
I'm just promoting myself really good for this. This is a good video. Uh, I'll say it's um, my own song, uh, Gina, Fair One. Uh, just because um, the original title um, and version of the song that I, I wrote this was called Tracy, Fair One. And this girl named Tracy, I used to like back in uh, um, high school. And I mean, I'm not going to try to get too much into it, but yeah, just things didn't really go the way I hoped for and dreamed about, so, um, yeah, changed the name of the song and everything, and, uh, yeah, even though, like, it's, it's, I like, I like the song a lot, despite, like, the name change, because originally it was supposed to be Gina Fair One, but I made it into Tracy, and, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> Damn, this cup is good. Um, a song that needs to be played loud. Um, for some, dang, I don't, uh, I'm thinking of a Michael Jackson song right now, just because, because, you know, like, he has really good songs, and one song that, um, that just kind of makes me think about, like, something needs to be played loud, um, is They Don't Really Care About Us, because, like, that song, like, has a really good message in it and like I feel like every once in a while it just needs to be played so that people like get that message in in their head all right number six a song that makes me want to dance I would have to say uh, Michael Jackson's blood on the dance floor or slash and um, uptown funk because I don't know like straight up in high school like that song like kept me going like you know, every time I hear that every time I hear those songs like you know, like I'd be like wanting to get up, dance to it and stuff, and, um, yeah, <laughs> good, good, just a bunch of good songs, um, alright, number seven, a song to drive to, um, I don't drive, um, so I can't really answer that, uh, number eight, um, a song about drugs or alcohol, uh, I'll have to say Bruno Mars, uh, liquor, liquor store blues, yeah, I think that's the name of the song. It's a, it's a really good song. It's like, I feel like it's like one of those songs that don't get recognition too much. Um, so I do recommend it if you guys like want to like listen to something like that. A song that makes me happy. Um, man, there's a lot of songs I listen to that make me happy. Um, I would say um, a song that makes me happy. I guess, since like rock and roll is like definitely one thing that makes me happy, I guess like just a, a song to put out there is uh, Cliff Richard's uh, Mean Streak, like from his early rock and roll days, like it's a song that like keeps me happy, keeps me up and going, so yeah, I recommend that, uh, a song that makes me sad, um, also too, there's a lot of songs that I listen to like on the daily basis that makes me sad, I would, um, but, you know, I would also just give myself a whole nother recognition again. Uh, there's a song that I put um, exclusively on my SoundCloud at the moment. Uh, it's called uh, Cold Winds. Uh, I wrote it, um, I forgot, I think either my 19th birthday or something like that. It was a song that I put out at that time. And um, I don't know, because I was really going through a lot. And I just thought it would be like a song to write and sing to. Um... And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a really sad song. Like, um, I don't know why. It's, it's also like a comfortable sort of song too. So, just just a weird comfort sort of song for me. I don't know why, but uh, if you guys check it out, I think like you just gotta have that experience for yourself to know what I'm talking about. But you know, like I'm gonna try to hopefully uh, re-record it and make it sound a little bit better than it all. It kind of does. <laughs> And, um, yeah. Alright, uh, we're at number 11. Okay. A song that you never get tired of. Ooh, um. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. A song that I never get tired of. 
again, that's like just pretty much my playlist. Like, I don't even listen to modern music too much like I used to. Like, a good chunk of my music on my phone are just like songs I don't really get tired of. Um, it just be like something that like I uh, at least like put like away once in a while and then like get back into it. Um, but I guess like for uh, I guess a good example, I would say, um, uh, what you call it, uh, Jason Derulo's, um, uh, In My Head, yeah, that's the song, yeah, Jason Derulo, In My Head, that's a really good song, I, I don't really get tired of it, like, me and my friend, uh, every time, like, we hang out, like, that's, like, one of the songs, like, we play instantly, like, when we're in the car driving somewhere, so, yeah. Caviar. Alright. <laughs> I, I wish I was getting paid for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. A song from my preteen years. I mean, I kind of just didn't mention one. Uh, Jason Derulo in my head. Uh, I guess one song from my preteen years would um, be. I forgot it. I don't. I forgot how to say his name. I think it's Omi or something like that. Uh, Cheerleader, the remix with the whole um, sax and stuff. That's a really good song. I'm pretty sure a lot of people pretty much forgot about that song. If they did it, then yeah, kudos to you. Or um, uh, oh, I think another good song would be um, Down by uh, I forgot the artist name. I think it's like Jay or something like that. But it features Little Wayne. So if you just Search up down featuring Little Wayne, you'll see it. And, um, yeah, okay. Um, one of my favorite 80s songs. This, this, I'll just say something from Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't have the resource in my head right now <laughs> to know. Uh, yeah, I'll say something by Michael Jackson. Like, there's a lot of songs by Michael Jackson. I like, I guess. I could be wrong if this is not from the 80s um, exactly, but I'll have to say um, um, Liberian Girl by Michael Jackson. It's a really good song, and also because I'm Liberian um, myself, so yeah. A song that you will love played at your wedding. Um, I mean, I doubt I'll ever get married, but if I do, um, it would be... I know for sure I'm gonna have like African music played at my wedding, um, so to at least like put a random song out there for now and like at some point in my life it might change depending on like uh, depending on like what happens. I'll have to say um, "Swagger" by Rough and Smooth. This old, well, they're not this um, those they were a former uh, former duo. Um, back in like the 2010s and stuff, like they made music, uh, um, and then like some things happened, they broke up, and then like one of the, uh, just one of the members, uh, Akon, uh, I think that's how you say his name, Akon, I, I, hopefully I'm saying it right, um, yeah, he does his own music now, he's doing it pretty well, like he just recently dropped a new single too, so. Yeah, um, so yeah, Swagger, Rough and Smooth, I rec I do recommend that song, it's a really good song if you're like trying to like, uh, get into like a little bit of the uh, African culture a little bit, and like you just want something to dance to in the meanwhile, um, so yeah, uh, that's a good song, a song that is covered by another artist, um, ew, uh, man, there's a, there's a couple of songs that, oh yeah, okay, I know one, um, I mentioned this in, like, my old uh, video talking about, um, music from around the world, you should check that out, it might be, it might be, like, one of the suggested videos that you see up there somewhere, uh, yeah, up, like, up there somewhere, <laughs> uh, I'll have to say, um, hopefully I'm saying this name right, Mas Masa Masaki Hiro One Way Ticket, the blues um yeah like pretty much the original song was um done by neil sadanka like the person with the man who sang all carol and like had like a had like this kind of formula back in like the uh, late 50s that like everybody liked 
and there was a reason why like he had like pretty good hits and um yeah um just um Masaki's version of that song One Way Ticket um like it's like like it, it's really different from um, Neil's um, version like it, it's straight it's more bluesy and like this is like when uh, Japan started doing rock and roll music too and like uh, Masaki was like one of the um I guess the um beginner uh beginning people who like was doing that rockabilly <laughs> stuff so yeah that's something but yeah, I, de I do. I definitely do think like if any if any of you guys want to check it out, go for it. Like I do. I think I have a playlist of like all his songs too. So uh, if you go to like my um, account, if you go to my pro, my um, YouTube channel stuff, and like you look at the playlist, um, you'll definitely see one of his songs on there. And oh, well, I mean, you'll see like the whole playlist of his songs. That's what I mean. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see how much I can do. I think I'll do, t like, I think I'll just go up to 20, so yeah, here we go. Uh, one of my favorite classical songs. Um, I'm gonna just say something random, but I, I don't even know. Um, it's not exactly classical, I would say. Um, they did change it into, like, rock and roll music, but I'll say, um, 18th century rock by the... Tillman Brothers, Brothers. <laughs> uh, the Tillman Brothers uh, are like an Indo rock group. Um, I think, I think all of them passed away. I'm not sure exactly. I haven't like done like a, a lot of research on them. I just know like I started listening to their music recently, about uh, sometime last year, and uh, I I like their music a lot. Um, just that, like, I haven't, like, done, like, a lot of research, like, behind them, see who they are and stuff. I just know, like, I just know, like, a little bit of their music and, like, especially like, with the early stuff, like, they did. Um, I know that's one song that I like that's, I guess, classical. <laughs> Otherwise, I was, I was thinking about something like Moonlight. Tss, tss, I forgot, I forgot the name of the title, but if you know, you know. Um, a song that you'll sing a duet with on karaoke uh, man, uh, I don't really know I'll probably say the girl is mine you know Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney or um, if there's like I'm not really thinking of it right now but if there's like a rock and roll song that I know that includes like someone else singing then yeah it's pretty much that too okay a song from the year that you were born um, that's gonna be hard. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, I remember, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's from my, exactly my year, but, um, I would say, um, you know what, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna just search this up to make sure. Alright, so, I, I did check, um, I guess, like, there's, there's really not too much I could think of right now. I guess, like, even though it's not exactly my year, to, it's, I think, 2001, one song that, I guess, was, um, that would be kind of, like, uh, when I was born would be Michael Jackson, the Whatever Happens. Um, it's a really good song, uh, like, I think it's just, like, one of those chill songs that, like, you just listen to on your own time. Uh, when you're like studying or something like that, it just gives you like a good feeling. And um, yeah, all right, two more. All right, a song that makes you think about life. Um, ugh, um, a song that makes me think about life. Oh man, I I really don't know if I'm honest. I know it had to be something modern for sure, but, um, oh, okay, I, I mean, yeah, okay, I mean, it's, it's relatable to life, and, like, there's been a few times when I remember when I was listening to it, it did make me kind of think about certain things here and there, 
There's a song by my good friend Jay Williams called uh, Christians. Uh, pretty much, um, it's kind of like a song, not exactly a song skit, but like, um, he pretty much like rapped about um, both sides of like um, what uh, a Christ, a regular Christian person, and like a person who's not Christian, like how their lives like um, to get her goals, like um, how like sometimes like um, when you're a Christian and like you're trying to like influence other people, like you sometimes like just push them like to, in their like uncomfortable side or something like that. I don't, I can't really explain it, like, you'll just have to listen to the song for yourself, but, like, it's a really good song, and, yeah, I know when I first listened to it, I remember, I think he put it out on my birthday, I'm not sure exactly, um, but, yeah, I was listening to that song a couple of times back, um, when, uh, he released it, and, like, yeah, it's a really good song, and, like, there's really, like, a good meaning in there, and, like, as a person who believes in God, too, like, I do understand like what he means in that song so yeah and number 20 a song that has many meanings to you um oh god okay um i would say I'll say, um, Ready Teddy, um, various artists, because a lot of artists have covered this, and even me, one day, I'm gonna be singing this song, so, yeah, I would say Ready Teddy, um, for plenty of reasons, one, it was the first rock and roll song I ever listened to, um, I could be lying, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's no. Okay, I, uh, let me re let me re, re rewind that. All right, it's the first rock and roll song that I listened to by um, Little Richard before Tutti Fruity, Surprisingly, um, it's the first. I think it's the first song I heard by Cliff Richard, and like eventually I started liking his music a lot, and he definitely became one of my biggest idols up to date. Um, seeing Elvis performed it on um, when he when he first like went on Ed Sullivan like really made me go into rock and roll music a lot more and like it was one of the few reasons why I started liking Elvis a lot besides watching his movies and like his early Sun Record days. Um, it's somewhat how I got into Buddy Holly besides um La ba watching La Bamba, you know the uh, bio picture um and yeah i mean i don't know if i could think of any other reasons right now but uh, just those four reasons that i gave you guys like it's definitely like a reason um why that song will always be a part of my life it's like um besides like certain rock and roll songs i like like uh, 20 flight rock or um summertime blues or johnny be good all those classics like uh, the reason why I like like hearing other artists cover them, and um, yeah, it's definitely the reason why I do rock and roll music, and I especially like listening to it, despite like you know how a lot of people usually judge me, like be like, oh, dude, this is old music, you shouldn't be listening to this, or just like <laughs> judging me because like I don't listen to like a, too much modern music like I used to. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like I to me like music like just like whatever you go for is what you go for like I don't really judge anybody for like what they listen to uh, if it's just, if it's not my preference it's not my preference so yeah and yeah I guess this is technically a part one of the video so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment subscribe uh, once again uh, thank you to my friend Zach for this cup uh, make sure to check out caviar I'll leave a link um, to the website so you can check out their, what they got uh, yeah I really do think it's a really good brand and um, yeah cool. alright also too make sure to stream uh, my new song Baby Blue Dress uh, we're, um, we're getting close to 100 um, plays on SoundCloud and I'll technically say here on YouTube too so 
Yeah, it might be like one of those videos that you might see like um here. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much and yeah, see you next Monday.